don't get to talk to you very much, Coach Mick, and you're pretty much the most important guy on the staff, <laughs> according, to, according to Urban Meyer. Um, I wish we could have got a chance to talk to you more. Just talk about why you feel like you've risen to the top of your profession. You know, your peers say you're kind of the guy that you do it the They best. say that. I don't say I that. Know, I, know. I say it too, though. I just, you know, just love what I do and passionate about what we do and, um, you know, just enjoy going to work every day. And I think when you have that mentality, you know, I think you get some things done. What has made you know, Coach Meyer's been good in games, period. But what's made him so good in postseason games? Uh, I think his plan. Obviously, he's got a plan in his head, and here's the plan, here's the objectives, and here's what we got to do to get to that. And we're very, he's very demanding, so that, that helps. And you guys have such a good track record, knock on wood. You guys stay healthy, and you're talking to the players, talking to the other coaches. They say you're the reason for that. You and your staff, you do a great job of just keeping the guys in shape throughout the year. You guys, I mean, every year it seems like since Urban's been here and you've been here, you guys are relatively healthy at the end of the year, which is tough. Can you talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, uh, that, that's the hardest thing about this, about college fo really football in general. Uh, I always say that uh, the injury rate in football is 100%. I mean, you're going to get hurt. Something's going to hurt you. Something's going to, and we got a great sports medicine staff. We got a great strength conditioning staff, great nutrition staff, and we're all on the same page. That, that's the biggest thing, I think. The culture that Coach Meyer has set with our football program is basically the same that we, in our performance area, so we're all talking the same stuff, and we're all demanding the same stuff, and uh, we, re we do a lot of things with sports science now, which has helped us uh, get that information, that data that we need for recovery, and our whole thing isn't about being overtrained, it's about being under-recovered, so we're, all of our efforts are to, be, to recovery, and I, that's so big. Nowadays, so big. I think Marshawn's a great example. Marshawn Lattimore, what yeah. you guys able to do. I mean, he obviously came in as a highly rated recruit, had the hamstring injuries. It was both hamstrings, too, I think. Yeah, he coming out of high school. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have done some new age stuff with him. Can you speak about that? Yeah, a we, bit? we actually had a, um, um, a product called Athos that would measure his muscle activity in the muscles that required to, for running uh, the glutes and the hamstrings. And we had one of my interns right next to him during camp. And any time that would get out of whack, if something was firing too much or not enough, we would give the coach a heads up, like, you know, take this rep off or get, get another stretch or activate it some other way. So it's real interesting. It, it, it worked. Um, and down here, do you guys have to walk a fine line of getting the guys ready? You want to still be physical but not pushing it too far? I think you touched on that a little bit already. Just yeah. How, how much are you guys like working out and stuff down here while you're down here? Are you just are you yeah. cutting that back a little bit? Um, Obviously, we had a plan from the beginning in different phases, and you know, obviously, we're coming to the end now uh, with practice and training. You know, we're training just like it was game five. I mean, we got two lifts a week, and guys that don't play get three lifts a week. And <laughs> we just keep perpetually training them and develop them as, as best we can. Hey, thanks so much. I really oh, appreciate no problem. Your time.